Time for the chase version next then, leg four of this as well. And same distance, two miles and six furlongs, but the handicap is 0 to 120 this time. At the top, Motley for Stu Gray, Xenophon Croy for James Shea, Penny Arcade, Alex Cherry, Akane Byrne, Martin, the Monumental Madness, Paul Rhodes, Psychopath, Graham Clitterbuck, MC Hammer, Paul Rhodes, James Bond, David Hooley, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Lidham, Blockley Tutor, James Shea, Morcat Gray, Thomas Rogers, Goldie, Stu Gray, Ring of Saturn, Craig Beckwith, Victorian Elthal for Thomas Rogers, and Romantic Liaison for Obi Wan. So, 15 of the men, and away they go. And heading towards the first of the fences in this S07 qualifier, and a couple of mistakes at the first. In fact, there were far too many to mention, to be honest. There was quite about half a dozen of them. Gave the jockey a jolt, but it's Blockley Tutor is in the lead, pulling for its head, wants to go on. Being chased by Victorian Elthal, then James Bond on the outside of Akane Burner and Sapphire and Steelers. They get over that one, and they all jump that one a little bit better with Psychopath, just a bad the back marker at this early stage. They've got 12 more fences to take. That'll make up 14 in all. We've got just the one grey again. That belongs to Stu Grey in this one. I think it's called Goldie, but it's Victorian Elthal who will lead them round this turn with a lead of about two lengths. With Penny Arcade just about showing second, but now Xenophon Croy and Akane Burn have overtaken that one. Then James Bond on the outside in the purple jacket. The one widest of all is Mutley, so we've got some interesting characters in this, haven't we? Mutley and uh, James Bond. And then what's Sapphire still as well? MC Hammer and Goldie as well, so it's uh, certainly an interesting race names wise as we get down to the third and over on that one we go and Victorian Elfal is the leader by about two lengths as they get very quickly to the fourth mistake there was by Akane Burn that one was shuffled down the pack a little bit and it's Victorian Elfal who continues to lead from Penny Arcade second and then Xenophon Croy James Bond after that one as they get to the next Akane Burn jumps it much better this time Looking towards the back ring of Saturn is just about the back mark, although Psychopath might well be last as well. The angle's a little bit deceptive, but it's Victorian Elf will continue to lead then from Penny Arcade second. And then Xenophon Croy, Monumental Madness has moved through on the inside, which is now really the outside, if you get what I mean, as they come around the outside of the track here. Then Ekane Burn is next, and then James Bond with MC Hammer after that one. And then Romantic Liaison for Obi Wan, and we'll be hoping to have a Romantic Liaison with the winner's enclosure at the end of the race. Looking towards the back, Goldie the Grey has now just shuffled to the back. But at the next, this is a ditch. Uh, they're all safely over that one with Victoria and Elfal about two to three lengths clear of Monumental Madness, who's moved through into second and looks to be going well. And after that one, Xenophon Croy, Penny Arcade, and then Akane Burn, James Bond on the outside as they get over the next. And there's a faller there, it's Psychopath has gone. So the Psychopath has departed and. Victorian Elfal continues to lead from Monumental Madness. Then Penny Arcade as they get down to the next. Slow jump by Sapphire and Steel on the inside. James Bond has now moved into third. Akane Burns still there in fourth. They've still got a mile and a quarter to go. And Victorian Elfal will take them past the winning post with a complete circuit of the track to go. And Victorian Elfal is in the lead. Monumental Manus is second and Sapphire is still third. James Bond is four and Akane Burn is five and then Mutley is six. And Morecraft Gray is seven and MC Hammer is eight. And Blockley Tutor is nine and then Xenophon Croy and Ring of Arcade. And Ring of Saturn and Romantic Liaison Goldie is just the back marker. And it's Victorian Elfal who's led all the way so far. And into the final mile now. It's got a two and a half length lead over James Bond in second. Sapphire and Steel in third as they get to the ninth. Well, that one they go, Akane Burn just losing its place and dropping back a little bit. Creeping up on the outside. Mutley's getting much closer as they get over the tenth. And it's still Victorian Elfal though. Who's going nicely in the lead. More cat grey at the back, so top and tail in the field, that trainer. I think it's Thomas Rogers and James Shaw get them two mixed up. They've got some that are very similar. I think it's 
Thomas Rogers with those lighter coloured sleeves, but it's Victorian Elf who's still in the lead, no matter who tries it. Sapphire and Steel is second, James Bond is third, Akane Burn now getting back into it again in fourth, then comes Blockley, Tudor and Mutley, and then after that one a gap two ring of Saturn, they're just starting to labour a little bit towards the back, but they've got four furlongs so left still to go, they've got three more fences to take, and it's Victorian Elf who's still in the lead from Sapphire and Steel, James Bond, Blockley, Tudor, Akane Burn, these five are clear of Mutley, and ring of Saturn, Penny Arcade after that one trying to run on they're coming down there towards the final three furlongs there's the third last fence over they go the final ditch is Victorian Elf in the lead, but James Bond is throwing down a big challenge then a gap back to Blockley Tudor Akane Byrne and Sapphire is still more cut ground was a four all at the back but now with the angle it's James Bond who's coming through to challenge for the lead James Bond over the second last but also Victorian Elf Victorian Elf still in the lead Sapphire is still and Akane Byrne are closing so's Blockley Tudor Motley on the outside they're coming down towards the final fence James Bond on the outside of Victorian Elfal. Sapphire and Steel back in third. Over the final fence they go. It's still Victorian Elfal in the lead from James Bond. Sapphire and Steel's in third. Motley's trying to run on the outside. James Bond trying to wear down Victorian Elfal who's led all the way. Victorian Elfal trying to hold on. James Bond lunging at the line. It's close. It's very close. It's really difficult to tell. The angle will be quite strange as well. But Victorian Elfal certainly deserves to win having led all the way round. And... I think he has done. James Bond, second, Sapphire and Steel, third. Mutley may have got up for fourth. Uh, let's take a full look and confirm the result because that is by no means certain. It could be a dead heat. It's a win for Victorian Elf and Thomas Rogers stayed on grimly, it said, and it certainly did. James Bond for David Hooley was second, Sapphire and Steel for Martin Leader was third, Mutley for Stu Gray was fourth, and Akane Byrne for Martin Leader again was fifth. <laughs>